Software Spring Presence How to use FV in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to the tutorial on the FV function. Let's begin with an introduction to FV. FV stands for Future Value. FV returns the future value of an investment made today, based on the specified data like investment amount, interest rate, and term. Alright, here's the format of the FV function. Let's look at an example. Rate is the interest rate, for compounding period. Number of periods, is the product of number of compounding per year, and term. In this example, it is 1, because compounding is annual, and term is 1 year. Payment amount is the amount paid per period. In this example, it is 0, because of 1, lump sum investment. Present value is the current value of the investment. It is a negative number, because it's the cash outflow. End or beginning is optional. It has a value of 0, if the payment is due at the end of each period. It has a value of 1, if the payment is due at the beginning. If this attribute is omitted, 0 is used as the default. Moving forward, here are the objectives for using the FV function. To find the future value of an investment of rupees 10,000 for three years at 6% interest compounded annually. To find the future value of a starting investment of rupees 5,000 and monthly investments of rupees 1,000 for five years at 5% interest compounded monthly. All right, let me type the data for the first objective in this table. For the number of compounding periods per year, I will type 1, because interest is compounded annually. Let me format this cell as percent. Click the percent symbol. OK. For the interest rate, I will type 6. For the term, type 3, because the investment is for 3 years. For the number of payment periods, we have to multiply the number of compounding periods per year, by term. So, type equal to, and click this cell. Type the multiplication operator, star. Click this cell, and press enter. For the payment amount, type 0, because of the lump sum investment. For the present value, type minus 10,000 because this amount is the cash outflow. For end or beginning, type 0, assuming payment is due at the end of the period. Alright, let's type the future value formula in this cell. First, type equal to, F. Select FV from the menu. For the rate, click this cell. We have to convert the interest rate, to interest rate per compounding period. So, type the division operator, and click this cell. Type comma. For the number of periods, click this cell. Type comma. For the payment amount, click this cell. Type comma. For the present value, click this cell. Type comma. Lastly, for the end or beginning, click this cell. Press enter. There you go. The FV function has returned the future value of the investment made today. Now, let's work on the second objective. First, let's change the number of compounding per year to 12, assuming monthly compounding. Let's change the rate to 5%. Investment term to 5 years. Payment amount to minus 1000. And lastly, the present value to minus 5000. Okay, here is the future value of the investments. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.